Well, hello YouTube, thanks for clicking on my video. My name is Basic Blue, and in this video, we're going to talk about um, what I would describe as a distortion of the facts in terms of the recent mass shootings that occurred in Atlanta and uh, Boulder. Um, you know, I'm sure you've heard about these just recently. Biden is now calling for gun control or some type of legislation. He has implored the House and Senate to act to take common sense steps to save lives in the second mass shooting in the space of a week. Now, if you're like me, you notice that last year it was almost like not covered at all. It was like it was almost as if the mass shooting thing just went away completely and it was as if everything was hunky-dory, everything was cured because we locked society down. And now what I'm noticing in our media is this push to imply that, almost as if to say that there's added benefits of the lockdown. I've heard things like climate change improving. I've also heard about things like, well, we've had less gun violence and that sort of thing. Um, this first article is from Independent, and it's, it's fairly neutral. I mean, it... <laughs> It basically reports that Biden wants gun control. So are we really surprised? The violent attacks have plunged the president into the country's hotly contested debate on gun control laws with reform often encountered by significant political pushback. I wanted to show you this article. This is from AP News. Now, the reason why I chose AP News is that a, a vast majority of news stations actually subscribe to AP News, and they can get copyright-free material to put on their newscasts. So whatever AP News says, that's what a lot of news organizations are going to report as being, you know, the truth, right? Um, I found this article pretty interesting. This was written in December 29th, 29th uh, 2020. In a year of pain, one silver lining, fewer mass shootings. Well, that sounds like a good thing. Let's investigate that. If there's one silver lining in a year marred by a deadly pandemic, civil unrest, and economic and political turmoil, it's this. The number of mass shootings that happened in public was the lowest in more than a decade. <laughs> For look, look at this. Experts who research mass killings. Now see how it turned from mass shootings to mass killings. That's an important thing to pay attention to here. Say there are two key reasons for the sharp drop-off. For one, most people avoided going out in public during coronavirus lockdowns, which meant fewer opportunities for slangs in workplaces, schools. For another, Americans were so focused on other tragedies that would-be gunmen were less likely to consider carrying out attacks. Well, isn't that interesting? Um, <laughs> It's funny because I went over to Wikipedia to, to research this. <clears throat> now, to be fair, there are different definitions of what constitutes a mass shooting. Uh, some research places define it as four or more people killed. Others define it as four or more people being shot in one location at roughly the same time. Um, however... The way that this article is written, it makes it sound as if crime just trickled down because we're all locked down, you know, and we want to keep these lockdowns in place if we can identify other beneficial reasons, right? Well, look, okay, let's go down the list. <laughs> we'll go right to the beginning of January 1st. Okay, so in four different instances on January 1st, there were technically more than at least four or more people that were injured by gunfire on the first day of 2020. And as I scroll through this list, I mean, you can go to the list and you can see. And then when you start hearing the newscasts and saying that it's this new epidemic of gun violence, and then they suggest that it was better when we had the lockdowns. You should question that. You shouldn't just accept it and say, well, I mean, that kind of makes sense. We're all locked down. So, you know, maybe we should just keep on locking society down and we should pass some gun control legislation on top of that. You are being lied to. You are being misled. They are taking advantage of basically just a new news cycle that will 
bonk you over the head a bunch of times with this new rhetoric, okay, saying and trying to convince you that last year's gun violence was somehow quelled by the pandemic. The only thing I can tell, okay, is that less people actually died from their gun injuries, from their, from their being shot injuries. Maybe that's just luck. I don't know. But when you scroll through this list, I mean, you tell me, does this seem like the shooting thing stopped or was quelled or anything like that? Here's an article from NBC. Okay, this was, when is this dated? This is March 23rd, 2021. After two mass shootings, Americans ask, is this what a return to normal looks like? That seems to imply to me that if we return to normal, the implication is, well, mass shootings are going to come back, see? We don't want that, so how do we get rid of that? Well, maybe we should either keep the lockdowns in place for a little bit longer, you know, and or, with probably more of an and, not an or, let's also pass gun legislation. This article is extremely misleading. Spring has arrived. The American disease that lay dormant during the pandemic has made a bloody return. In less than a week, two gunmen, separated by 1,400 miles, have taken 18 lives. There could be more as the nation reverts to a more normal way of life. This is a moment in time when we're finally coming out of months of hiding in the shadows from COVID, and I deeply fear we're going to see another spate spat spate of mass shootings here is an article that refutes that now i'm thankful that at least not all of the media is washed up and should be thrown away shootings never stopped during the pandemic 2020 was the deadliest gun violence year in decades now why would have our media not reported that well, for starters, it doesn't really bode well for uh, things like rioters, okay? So if you're going to riot in the street and then gun violence somehow ticks up, if you're going to say defund the police and somehow violence is ticking up, it doesn't exactly sit well with the story, does it? No, of course you want to quell that narrative. You know, you want to act as though, well, we can defund the police because, look, I mean, we're not going to report on gun violence, so maybe the public will just get fooled by it. And unfortunately, a lot of people do get fooled by it. So I think that the point of this video, this is the first time I've ever done any sort of news coverage like this. So if you like what I'm doing, um, press that like button. I would appreciate the support and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Um, you know, the evidence is out there that our media twists around stuff. All you have to do, I think the biggest thing I would say is all you have to do is become your own journalist, which sounds kind of sucky, I guess. But nowadays, you can't really rely on the media to tell you the truth. I mean, some of it will be truthful, but others will be dishonest. And so if you don't kind of go and explore around an issue and you just only watch one thing or you only read one thing, it's really easy to get misled. You know, I mean, this this says it right here. When you combine, okay, this list with this article, I mean, if you want it in a nice-looking graph, I guess you could have it in a graph. This doesn't make any sense to me at all to defund the police. It doesn't make any sense at all, quite frankly, to create uh, all of the sudden gun legislation because it seems very suspect that all of a sudden Democrats take office and all of a sudden there's this epidemic. What's really changed is the news coverage. That's the shift that you're seeing. It's, it's not what actually happened. I learned this, okay, when I was living in a big city, all right, living in Philadelphia for a long time and moving from a small town to a big city, I started to notice that, wow, there's, like, there's gun violence that happens every day in a big city, not just in Philly, but New York, Chicago, L.A., uh, all these different places are having gun violence every day. Our national news media doesn't bother to cover it. 
So the average American that sits in their living room and witnesses uh, national news coverage all of a sudden saying that, oh my gosh, there's a wave of gun violence. Of course they're going to think that somehow it's related to opening up things. Of course they're going to think that we need gun legislation. Because all of a sudden, our news media pivots and creates a push for something that, uh, I hate to say it, but it seems very left-leaning. It seems like our press is mostly left-leaning and supports Democrats. We saw that for the last four years or so during Trump administration, and now we're going to see it even harder to push for gun legislation. So if you like this kind of content, share it with a friend who may be misled about this and think that all of a the sudden there's these waves of violence when, no, it's, it's pretty much, you're just being misled to think that it's like a cause and effect thing, and it really isn't. It's just, this is the way our country has been for a long time. It doesn't mean that it's right or even necessarily okay, but I don't like it how the media just twists this around to manipulate public support for new, even more oppressive types of laws. And the whole lockdown thing in place, I don't think we should be messing with anything, you know, that's going to increase oppression in our society. We need to reduce <laughs> legislation. We need to reduce, um, you know, things that are going to control society. We Clamping down on the Second Amendment is now the next step because the First Amendment is just about dead now. So now they're going to go after the Second Amendment and they're going to use it. They're going to use these sort of articles, okay, to slowly convince people that, well, something has to be done. Even though last year, I mean, you'd probably get censored off of Facebook or whatever for even reporting on some of this stuff because it would be considered misinformation. All right, so keep this in mind as you're moving forward. If you know somebody that is convinced that all of a sudden this new wave of gun violence is something that really needs to be taken care of, point them back to this and say, well, if you're so concerned about it now, why weren't you concerned about it last year? When you were saying, you know, maybe they were saying defund the police or something like that. It doesn't, it doesn't add up. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.